My name is Katy Berry. Let me tell you a story about my friend Jasmine. Jasmine was feeling grumpy for some reason. Maybe it was because she didn't get pancakes for breakfast like she wanted. It's a waffle, not a pancake. Grumpy Grape complained as Jasmine ate breakfast that morning. Maybe it was because her baby brother had broken her favorite hairband. Who invented baby brothers anyway? Grumpy Grape argued as Jasmine's mother put her hair in a ponytail. Or maybe it was because her dad didn't wake her up with his usual underwear song. <laughs> up, up, up right now, get dressed and comb your hair. If you don't, you're going to church in your underwear. Dad was still in bed as they went to church that morning. Why isn't Dad coming to church with us? Jasmine asked her mother as they rode in the car. Your dad isn't feeling well this morning, so he stayed home. So that's why he didn't wake me up, Jasmine thought to herself. Pray for him to be healed. Caring Cantaloupe spoke up, finally getting through to Jasmine. Grumpy Grape saw this as an opportunity to get even grumpier. Mommy, take me back home right now so I can play for Daddy. Jasmine demanded with a little help from Grumpy Grape. Mom tried to reason with Jasmine. If we go back home, we'll be late for church. Let's just pray for Daddy on the way to church. What should Jasmine do? Should she listen to Grumpy Grape and get even grumpier because she didn't get her way again? Or should she listen to Caring Cantaloupe and pray with her mom on the way to church? What would you do? There was a woman who could not stand up straight. She had been bent over for 18 years. Everywhere she went, she had to walk stooped forward because she couldn't look up. Jesus saw the woman and the fruit of caring cantaloupe came out of his mouth as he called to her saying, woman, you are free. He laid his hands on her and she immediately stood up straight and glorified God. Jasmine felt bad for being grumpy as she prayed for her dad that morning. When she got to church, she had a lot of fun learning about God. She even asked her teacher to pray for her dad, and together they prayed for him. Once they got home, Jasmine hurried inside to check on her dad, and there he was, sitting in the TV room watching the ball game. I thought you were sick, Jasmine said to her dad as he picked her up on his lap. I was, he answered. But right after you left, I started feeling a little better. And then a while later, I started to feel even better. So I got up and turned on the TV. Were you praying for me? Jasmine smiled real big and nodded yes. She was so glad she listened to Caring Cantaloupe. Her dad gave her a big hug and added, I'm so glad you got up and got dressed. I was worried that you went to church in your underwear since I didn't wake you up. So, the next time you don't get your way, what kind of fruit will you bear? Caring cantaloupe or grumpy grape? <laughs> it's your choice. Goodbye now. <laughs>